I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in New York City for REIT Week 2014. Joining me for this CEO Spotlight is Chad Williams, the Chairman and CEO of QTS Realty Trust. Chad, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Now, as the demand for data center space has grown, we've seen the number of players in the space also increase. What sets QTS apart from other companies, both to customers and shareholders? Well, I think a number of things, but I, I like to talk about our diversified product offering. Uh, we have a fully integrated technology service platform that sits on world-class mega real estate, uh, data center real estate. And I think from our standpoint, our ability to intersect customers in large space, small space, and cloud and managed services. So we call it our 3C product offering. So C1 is large space, C2 is our co-location space, and C3 is our cloud and managed services. Having that in a fully integrated services platform uh, powered by our people at QTS is what we call it. Uh, is, is allowing us to have very interesting conversations with our customers about the solutions that we can provide uh, because most of our customers, enterprise customers, that are focused on security, where their data's at, uh, and the compliance around their data. The one other element is we believe in scale. So we have, uh, we focus on our return on invested capital as we should and uh, our scale of mega assets, uh, data center assets being 150,000 square feet or larger from a data center perspective. We have two of the largest data centers in the world uh, in, in the U.S. I think that scale ability for customers to feel like they, they can grow and not be uh, trapped at, uh, at a large level, but also the capital efficiency in which we can operate and drive uh, better bottom line efficiency, which supports our 15 plus percent return on invested capital on an unlevered uh, basis on a fully stabilized. It, it helps us be more competitive, and I think those uh, two large areas really help drive a differentiation in the market with our ability to deliver the right products at the right time at the right scale. And, and picking up on that, QTS is one of the fastest growing companies in the sector. So let's talk about your, your growth plans and how acquisitions and development factor into that. Our ability to grow the existing platform is a strength in our portfolio. So our ability to go from, let's say, 800,000 square feet of operating data center space today to 1.8 million is within our portfolio today. So those buildings are built, the utility power and a significant amount of that infrastructure is already in place. So our ability to know the cost and drive uh, development and growth within our existing data centers that are already operating uh, they just continue to operate more efficiently and drive that. That allows us to uh, have a very unique proposition in the market versus um, you know other peers. And I think we continue to talk about that from an investor standpoint uh, and, and why that helps us drive certainty in our return and continue to favor uh, our operating at a 15 plus percent unlevered return. And so you know that that's something we focus on a lot in. You know, I think the best way to, to uh, think about growth is just continuing to execute what we have and what our people are doing every day and with the existing assets and look opportunistically, um, you know, when things come. But I think with our portfolio, it gives us a great advantage to just drive and continue to do what we're doing. So, And lastly, unlike a office building or a mall, fewer people have actually been inside a data center and really seen how it operates. What's the most common misperception you hear about owning and operating a data center? Probably the thing that's most underappreciated is that these large industrial uh, facilities with uh, enormous infrastructure um, is, it, it rivals um, almost any sector with the type of infrastructure that we need that drives it. So as we talk about one of the largest consumers of utility in the state of Georgia, um, you know, it is uh, probably underappreciated the level of infrastructure and fiber that goes into these facilities. And then on top of that, the ability to drive very sophisticated mechanical systems. So I think probably people underappreciate the technological uh, advancements, the efficiency. We focus on our uh, PUE and our ability to be a good environmental steward of the assets that we have. And we're continuing to drive with our people uh, ingenuity around that as we drive our business and being thoughtful about that. But I think probably, um, you know, another area that probably people underappreciate is the level of physical and logical security that goes into these facilities. So I think, you know, we, we continue to think and make the investments that drive the most efficient things on the things that we think are important. And I think people will continue to appreciate compliance and security and the, and the sheer infrastructure and really the 
um, you know, as a business drives how hard it is to replicate that in certain areas of the country. So I think, you know, those are the things that we, we probably feel like probably get underappreciated uh, from people not actually being in the facilities and around them as close uh, versus just seeing them from the outside. Chad, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. For more on this and other real estate news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com. <music>